What if I told you that you've been using OneNote wrong this entire time? Huh? Well, you're in luck because today I'm going to show you how you can level up your organization and productivity with this simple OneNote trick. But first, a quick personal anecdote. So during my time at university, I've had multiple people comment about how organized they think my OneNote is. Even one of my university professors have complimented the organization of my OneNote and he said that if I made a OneNote video, he'd totally watch it. So rather than me gatekeeping this information to myself, I am going to reveal how I've transformed my OneNote from Bruh. this to this. By the way, this video was not sponsored by Microsoft. However, it is sponsored by Brilliant.org. More on them later on in this episode. First, let me bring it over to the computer. So first, let me show you how I've set up my OneNote for fourth year. So over here, I have one notebook for all of my fourth year content. And all of my subjects are in the different sections on the left. There are a lot of ways you can set up your OneNote. This is just one of them, but I've also seen some people set up their OneNote like this. So they have one notebook for one subject. And in this case, they have different sections for different parts of the course. For example, you have the lectures in one section, the weekly assigned problems in another section, tutorial problems, homework problems. So the, these are all in different sections of your notebook in OneNote. Of course, there are pros and cons to both of these setups. So with my setup that I currently have, it's good because I can access all of my content pretty quickly. So like, let's say I want to go to my week five lecture 11, then I can do this. And then if I want to access tutorial three, I can just scroll down and click tutorial three. But both ways are good. However, I will show you a bad example on how not to set up your OneNote. For example, this is a terrible example of how to set up a OneNote. First of all, there's no section name there. It's everything is really scattered. For example, lecture one, assignment problems, and it's just like a big eyesore. So like, let's say I want to find lecture number two. I really have to like, oh, where is it? Oh, lecture number two, which is, which is right here. He said that took a while, right? Because, you know, I don't know where it is. I don't know what week it is. I can't reference the content really quickly, right? Or like, let's say I want to access tutorial number two. Like, let's see if I can find tutorial number two. So it's like over here. So this is very unorganized. I have seen some people do this and it's pretty unorganized. So yeah, don't do that. It's, it's some people say it's organized chaos, but it's just chaos to be honest. Let me bring you back to one of our good examples. So over here, what I want to show you today in this video is how to make a hierarchy system on OneNote, how to make sub pages and promote sub pages in OneNote. Over here, for example, my week one lectures is all in a week one section on my OneNote. For example, over here, I have week one content and I have lecture one. And over here is week two content and I have lecture two, three, and four. So it's really easy to see that lectures two to four is in week two content. And week three, like this is a note itself. However, I don't put anything in this note. This is simply to separate the different weeks and to separate the different parts of note that I want to separate. For example, if I want to go to my tutorials, then I can scroll all the way to the tutorials and all of my tutorials are neatly laid out over in the tutorial section. And let's say there's a particular section that I don't really need anymore. Well, in that case, I can simply close my weekly assigned problems if I don't need it and my homework problem sets and then these are tucked away in its own little section. Let's say I only want to access the week 12 lectures to my tutorials, then I can simply like click back and forth like really easily without having these home problem sets in the way. I can think of countless reasons why you should be organizing your OneNote sort of like this or having at least a system to organize different parts so that it's a little bit easier to read. You know, number one is because it's just easier to navigate Number two is just faster information retrieval. Also, it's more logically organized and it reduces color. So let me show you how to actually do this. As I've mentioned earlier, this course has 13 weeks of content. Over here, I only have eight weeks of content, which means I have to set up the content for week nine and up. And I'm gonna show you how to do that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to click the most lower note of my week eight. And then I'm going to add a couple of new pages. In order to do that, you can click the new page button or you can click Command N on Mac, or if you're on Windows, you can click Control N. So I'm just gonna click Add Pages and add a couple of new pages, and then I'm going to click on the top untitled page and then rename that to week number nine. 
how do you move it back to where it aligns with the week eight section marker? Well, to do that, you can click option command left bracket and this like indents it to the left or you can also right click it and find the options to do so. So in order to make a sub page, you would click command option right bracket or if you want to promote the sub page, you can also click promote sub page. If you're doing this on a tablet like an iPad, you can hold down your note until the options show up. Select all of the notes that you want to make into a sub page and then you can click the buttons that will make it a sub page or if you want to go the opposite way, you can click the other button to promote the sub page. There's also another trick that I want to show you if you weren't aware of it. So you can select all of your notes by first clicking on your first note that you want to select and then you can hold down shift while clicking the last note that you want to select. Let's say I want to select everything from week five all the way until the end of week eight. I can simply click the first note and then hold down shift while clicking the last note. And this is going to select all of the notes that are in the selection. This is useful because let's say I want to promote all of these sub page all at once. I can simply click on the first note and then I can shift click on the last note and then I can promote the page and this will become your section headers for the other parts or the other way around. So very useful, very handy. Let's say I want to add a ton of weeks to my thing right now, just so I can fill it in right now. This is probably how I would do it. For example, I want to add week 10, 11 and 12. Then this is how I would do it. I would add a bunch of pages and then I'll go here. So this is my week 10, week 10, and then I will promote that. And then I'll go to where my week 11 should belong. So it'll be over here. And then I will promote that as well. And then make this into week 11. Now, I can fill out all of my lecture content really easily now. And let me show you how I do that. So in my course, I have PDF files where I take notes on, right? So I take all of my notes electronically and this is how I import all of my files onto my OneNote. So over here, I'm going to go to my course content and then I'm going to put this in the middle. Then this is another thing that I'm pretty proud of which is the organization of all of my university files on my computer. So everything is in its own little section, which I'll show you right now. So over here, I have my fourth year course material. And if I click into it, I took this course in my first semester of fourth year. So I'll go to my first semester fourth year file. And then I'll go to my introduction to nano engineering folder. And then I have another one with lectures. And then I have another one with week nine lectures. And then this is where all of my lecture files are and then I can command tab in order to switch back to my OneNote and then drag it and drop it onto my OneNote and then I will click insert as a printout. I'm going to do that with the lecture 21 content as well. So I can do this and just like switch back to OneNote and then insert as printout and then I can do lecture number 22 dragging it onto this and then clicking insert as a printout. All right, so now I have completed my week nine content and this is really organized. Now I know exactly where my week eight content starts and when it ends and where my week nine content starts and ends. And this can just be continued with my week 10 content. So, so this is a little different. There's not three, but there's four files in week 10 and I can simply just select the bottom lecture 24 example, command N to add a new page then I will drag lecture 25 onto my OneNote and this will complete week number 10. I'm going to show you another bonus OneNote trick that surprisingly not that many people know of. So in order to open up your notebook in a separate window so that you can do like a split screen multitasking sort of thing, then you can right click your notebook or you can right click your section or notes and then select open a new window. Once you do that, it will pop up in a new window. So let's say I want to have my lecture content on the left, then I can go to my lecture content and let's say I want to have lecture 18 open. And then I have my tutorial content on the right. So over here, I will go on to my tutorials and select maybe tutorial eight. And I can close this down with these buttons over here. And now you have tutorial on the right and you have the lectures on the left. So this is really useful for if you're to do some split screen multitasking, it would make organization and productivity a lot better. And the same applies if you want to add even more windows for whatever reason, 
you can go over here and then you can right click and open a new window. And this is in like three separate windows. So if you have like a big screen, then you can have like multiple windows of OneNote open with all of your content. So it's pretty useful. Quantum mechanics. I remember this. I'm not gonna lie. One of the most challenging topics I've learned in the introduction to nano engineering is quantum mechanics. What if I told you that you can also learn about quantum mechanics as well, but in a fun and interactive manner? Well, you can for free with this video sponsor, Brilliant.org. Brilliant isn't just an educational platform. It's a game changer, turning you into a better thinker across science, math, programming, and more. Take a quick quiz and Brilliant tailors a course that perfectly fits your skill level and interests. Brilliant's guided lessons empower you to explore different concepts at your own pace, providing helpful hints and step-by-step -step solutions if you ever found yourself stuck. If you love technology as much as I do, I highly recommend Brilliant's How Technology Works course. It delves into the inner workings of everyday technology. For instance, you can learn how GPS works by interacting with the timing corrections of satellites. By the end, this course will change how you think about the technology around you. Beyond technology, Brilliant offers an extensive library in math, computer science, data fundamentals, and more, all presented with the same hands-on approach that makes complex concepts remarkably easy to grasp. And here's the best part. You can learn with Brilliant on the go using their mobile app, making it perfect for the students who want to make the most of their bus ride to campus. We learn best not by reading or hearing, but by actually doing. So to try everything Brilliant has to offer completely free for 30 days, visit brilliant.org slash jcity or click on the first link in the top of this video's description. The first 200 of you to sign up will get 20% off Brilliant's annual premium subscription. So what are you waiting for? See if Brilliant is something that can help you advance your career, stay up to date on the latest concepts behind world changing technologies, or simply enjoy the beauty of learning something new. Thanks again to Brilliant for sponsoring this video. If you found this video helpful, then definitely click that subscribe button and enable those bell notifications so that you're not gonna miss out on any new future posts. And while you're at it, why not give this video a big thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, I will see you in my very next video. Peace.